this uh, Aaron's um, snowblower, it's good, works great. But it reminds me too much of mowing the grass, and <laughs> I hate mowing grass. <laughs> It snowed, I would say, the first good snow. We got maybe eight inches, and we're heading to Valdez. Valdez. Going with a chance to pick up a snow machine that he wants to rebuild. So, that's where we're going. He could have shoveled me a path to the truck, but he's not very friendly. When he he wanted me to get covered in snow. So, we gotta go through Ernstein um, area and they got like 34 inches, so they're probably at 40 inches right now because it's still snowing. And yeah, luckily DOT was on top of it this morning and got it cleared, so we're heading down to Valdez. Uh, Well, we're under a winter weather advisory. They called for a lot more last night. They changed it this morning, but still supposed to be, get quite a bit of snow. So I'm headed to the chicken coop this morning. Chickies! I need three hands. It's okay guys, it's just me. Good Lord. Hey. I know, you're going to squawk at me. That's fine. Uh-uh. Don't you try to eat those eggs. Uh-uh. I'll get y'all some new bedding out here later. Oh, this sure is pretty. About a foot of snow here yesterday. Today, well, it's at what three feet, three and a half feet. That's the berm. <laughs> this is what we call Alaskan aerodynamics. So we're in Valdez, and if you can see it, we got what he came down here for, and nothing new. It's raining. Typical Valdez. There's a new construction. I think it's a new uh, add-on to the hotel. To I think it's isn't that the add-on to total? Buildings. TCC buildings. Okay, so uh, what is it? Offices or what? Offices and housing. Offices and housing for TCC. That's the people who do the spill response cleanup for the terminal. And yeah, so now we're gonna go to Safeway. Uh, also known around here as cars. And then 
should probably head back. We're heading back up Thompson Pass, and only an idiot would be out here doing this. What's up? <laughs> but it's a pretty good storm. Uh, not really storm, just heavy snowfall. I think they've gotten, I don't know, the climbing lane has got like three feet of snow in it. <clears throat> and they've, I know they've been out here plowing since six o'clock this morning, and there's still like a half a foot in the road. So, yeah, this is not advised to be up here doing this but we want to go home because we're idiots snowstorm for not having any snow or there was some snow but you could see the grass still on the ground yesterday and today it's like right now what do you think two and a half feet so far it's like closer to three yeah so it's between two and three feet right now like it's a lot so we're uh, behind somebody on the highway right now and can't tell if it's two cars or pick up pulling the trailer. <sighs> Slowly but surely. Looks like I get to break out the uh, snowblower again. Maybe this time it'll stay instead of melting off like it did the first time. But I gotta, just to get to the front door, I gotta walk in the tracks. Didn't jump across it like Frogger. All right, it's 3 p.m. We've gotten three more, well, Lynn, hold the camera right, three more inches. So that makes 10 so far. All right, going to check the chickies. Coop door has been open all day, but they're not gonna come out. How are my feathered friends doing?
Molly, how do you feel about the snow? That's okay. So, both guys just got called out to go clear the road, help with clearing the roads. It's starting to dump a lot harder just south of us than what it's doing here right now. So, got fresh bread made for supper. Have no idea what time they're going to be home now. If they come home tonight. But that's how it is around here. Stop making plans. <laughs> Any more eggs, girls? Really? No, it's okay. Shovel on the deck. Take two. This is the worst position ever. Oh well. storm and I made it home no issues there but uh, yeah I'm at work on my day off it's after 10 right now looks like it finally stopped raining or stopped snowing we're getting some rain mix so things are getting really slick but anyways I got kind of called in but not really called in but they needed help so I volunteered so I'll be out all night um, roads closed but trying to keep enough of it open for the locals that live out here um, anyways it's closed at 46 mile we are keeping it open from 55 mile up um, as best we can but right now it stopped snowing but it's raining uh, Alaska's bipolar so that's what we're doing now just trying to keep the road open for the locals and hope that it doesn't keep snowing all night so the world record for snowfall in this area in 24 hours, 78 inches. As of right now, it's at 72. 72 inches. And we still haven't hit the 24 hour mark, so we've still got some time. And it's still supposed to snow. Back to work. So I got home between 5.30 and 6 this morning. Um, it's like 4 now. So <clears throat> I got up at 11. I went to bed. Got up at 11. And now it's my time to do some snow removal at the house. So I'm going to crank up the snow blower and blow some snow. Yeah, and also since... Uh, first time we used the snow blower that one snow and then all the roof snow fell down and got it out and I wanted to to uh, put a, a uh, ice base down it didn't happen because temperatures rose to 40 and all of it melted away guess what it's 
40 again this time. So we'll see. Maybe it'll stay this time. I'm not gonna blow the rest of the driveway or anything, but I just wanna get this roof snow out of here. Any gas? Yeah. <clears throat> a lot of gas. Ah, fingers are cold. And it's nice having something besides a shovel or a rub down Polaris to push the snow out of the way. This uh, Aaron's um, snow blower, it's good. Works great. But Reminds me too much of mowing the grass, and <laughs> I hate mowing grass. But the plus side to working outside, whether it's freezing or semi warm in Alaska, some, anything of the 50s hot. Look at the views. This is the work kind of heaven you get to work in. I think we had a moose come through the backyard. Okay. Well, hope he enjoyed his path. And then he circled back over there. Uh, gonna start charging. Huh? Gonna start charging a moose meat if he doesn't. Gonna start what? Charging a moose meat. Okay, now that that's done, sorry, uh, Mother Nature's taking away the light. Sorry if it's hard for you to see me, but at least you can hear me. Um, so that's done. And uh, until next time, the Aaron's snowblower is nice. I like it. Um, it's pretty good so far, but it's still new. Uh, longevity is the name of the game. But also, hopefully, by the time that, uh, well, way before it quits working and we can't use it anymore, I'll have a plow. So, thanks for watching. Um, I don't know if there's any more going on this weekend. But uh, until then, like and subscribe, please, to our channel. Um, and if you... Uh, if you don't mind, go check out the website, followalaska.com.